thanks for watching my video. So uh, I'm going to start a new challenge. Um, I say challenge. Well, yeah, it, it is a challenge. It's quite similar to the Black Widow challenge, but I'm not going to say that it is because, you know, I don't really like to follow rules. So I'm just going to make this one up. But the idea is pretty similar. Basically, we're going to be playing as two Sims. They're, you know, they're not poor. They've got a fairly nice house, but they both have aspirations relating to money. So uh, one of them is going to be in charge of marrying lots and lots of rich men to try and get some money. And the other one is going to be in charge of disposing of said men. So we have two main characters. We've got Nina Williams here. She is basically going to be trophy wife, the one going around finding all the dudes and convincing them to marry her. And then her sister, Anna, is not really going to be, you know, getting with too many guys, but she's going to, she's a little bit more, she's not as squeamish as Nina, so she's going to take care of disposing of those, those uh, husbands. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be using extreme violence. And if you recognize the names of these characters, then congratulations, we've got similar taste in video games. Anything that can get the aggression out. Anyway. I'll uh, introduce you to their home. So this is our home. We live in Oasis Springs. It's quite a, you know, fairly modest house. There's no upstairs or anything. Anna's room is this one. Nina's room is this one. I kind of try to go for the blue and red themes, you know, because they're different. But they are sisters. So yeah, I mean, I don't see any reason to waste any time. Let's get on Simda, girl. Let's get on Simda. Simda dating app. Yes, please. Are you watching a horror movie? <laughs> I can just hear like the screams in the background. <laughs> oh, funny. Nina, why haven't you got on Simda yet? Get on Simda. Oh, this movie is making Anna cry. Looking for someone special, something serious. Specific date. Yeah, we'll do a specific date because I've got someone in mind for our first victim. Oh, and these are all of our options. Are they going to show married sims as well? Because I wanted to try and get her to go with uh, Mortimer. Oh my god, there are so many options. I don't know how easy it is to find Mortimer Goth. Especially if he's married. Would he even come up? <laughs> Spaffy Jugs is up there though. Uh, okay, well you know what? Oh, but Alexander Goth is on there. Oh, we'll go on a date with Mortimer's son instead. Fuck it. Right, where should we go? I want to find a nice, uh, a nice restaurant. Oh, we can go to this restaurant. There we go. Found one. Sometimes I forget which restaurants are in which of my save files. It's very confusing. Oh, here we are. Well, first things first, let's go and uh, request a table, shall we? Request a table, sit down together, convince him to fall in love with us. Your best table, please, sir. Oh, here's our table. Okay. That's all right. That's not a bad spot. Let's uh, take a look at him. He's not aged well, is he? Right, we're just going to socialise the fuck out of this date. Find out if he's got a job. That's usually an indicator as to how much money they have. Although, to be fair, we know his parents have got a little bit in their pocket, so... Oh, he's a freelance writer. Oh, he does have a job then. Oh, that's good. He says he has siblings. And he's never had woohoo. <laughs> Maybe we should tell him a joke. I thought for a second there that said, tell joke about dicks. That would have been a better option. He's looking pretty sad. Why? What's wrong? I mean, we know a lot about him. He doesn't know jack all about us. We seem to be talking a lot about him. You get people like that sometimes, you know, they just, it's just me, me, me. That's all they want to talk about. Oh, I'm glad we're going to kill him. I think this is going pretty well. He's loving our flirtatious blow kisses. Is he going to let us embrace him? Cheeky little embrace. Middle of the, middle of the restaurant, don't care. All about that PDA. Oh, first kiss, there we go. We got a... Make sure we're moving this along relatively quickly. How does a first kiss not even count as a kiss? Oh, it did. Okay, good. Good. Ask to be boyfriend. Oh, look at him. He's all, like, bashful. 
He's got like red cheeks. What about if we propose? Is that too soon? You do not have a high enough romance. Oh, fuck off, mate. Okay, fine. We'll just need to get him back to ours and woohoo with him then. Let's end the date. Feel like it went as well as it could. Gold medal. And then we will get him to come back to our house. Hopefully Anna can make herself scarce. Woohoo with him and then propose. Get him to move in. Just pop back to ours. Woohoo, there we go. Why have you just completely undressed? <laughs> Your sister is right there. Some people just don't have any shame, do they? Well, it's to be admired, really. It's good that she's got body confidence, I suppose. You gonna stay naked then, or...? Yeah, okay, fair enough. You do you. Can you propose now? Yes, propose. Get that shit locked down. Yeah? Oh, that looked like a yes. <laughs> Beautiful, he's got a pretty little engagement ring. Amazing. Well, I think, with that in mind, we're engaged. Perhaps we should go on a little trip. Oh, I'm just going to actually uh, change her, give her a wedding dress first. You know, so she looks pretty on her wedding day. What kind of wedding dress would you like, Nina? One like that, maybe? One like that? One like that? That one's quite nice. There we go, that'll do. Perfect. Right, let's go to the... The nice little park and have a cheeky ceremony you know what though i'm not sure whether i don't think i've ever married two sims from different households at the same time before because you know when you ask a sim to move in you get to choose how much money they bring with them i don't really know what the situation is with this one you know i also can't remember where the wedding venue is but i think they've got something over here in von haunt estate so let's go and have a look i'm pretty sure there's a wedding chapel there Okay, here we are. So I'm pretty sure there is a wedding arch. Oh, yeah, here we are, overlooking the waterfall. Romantic. Get married. Oh, wait, this isn't the place that I thought it was, though, because the place I was thinking of had um, fireworks. And right here, and there's no fucking fireworks. Unless there's another section that has fireworks. Unless there's more than one wedding arch. I mean, this lot is pretty massive. Well, it's all right. I mean, there'll be plenty of weddings to go, so we'll go to the one with the fireworks next time. Are you not going to get changed, Nina? I literally gave you a, a, a nice wedding dress. You, you're just going to get married like that, are you? Ugh, embarrassing, the pair of you. Yeah. Yeah, not even bother getting changed or anything. Lazy. I wonder if his name will now be Alexander Williams. I don't think they change it anymore. I can't remember. Either way, it's a beautiful moment. Is it done? Is we married? Oh, no, we're just doing the rings. Just doing a bit of bling. Take that off your corpse later. Sell it on Simbe or some shit. Moving in together, yes. Here we go, Alexander. Should we just take everything? I think it'd be silly not to. There we go. It's our first step, isn't it? First step in becoming rich. Relationship had an awesome sim to date. Oh, that is so cute that that comes up. So anyone you have a good sim to date with, it's, oh, I like that. Okay, everyone, time to go home. Okay, we're back. Shall we, uh, we wanna make sure this marriage definitely counts. Let's just consummate it quickly. And then Anna can do what she needs to do. She's watching some horror movies for inspiration. Nah, she doesn't need inspiration. Anna's pretty sick. Okay, I'm thinking Nina probably doesn't really want to be around for this. So I might just send Nina out for a walk. Go jogging. See you later. Meanwhile, Anna can stay here and take care of business. Just choke him. Choke him out. Get rid of him. Yeah, there we go. Nina doesn't need to see this. Anna is choking Anna Williams to death. 
no, I think you mean Alexander to death. Is he dead yet? <laughs> well, that wasn't very good conflict resolution. What? What the fuck? I mean, that was a bit of a delayed reaction. Choked him and then he got up to get himself a glass of water. Anna's feeling pretty happy. Yes, very pleased with herself. On prank day of all days as well. Well, <laughs> while the Grim Reaper is taking care of business, why don't we go on another date, Nina? Huh? Why don't we do that? Oh, we're not going to be allowed to, are we? We can't leave while a sim is dying. Specific date. Cassandra Goth. That would be another nail in the coffin, wouldn't it? Now, we've taken all their money already, actually. Um, what about Finn? Let's go for Finn. Okay, where are we going to go with Finn? Let's go to the nice Chez Llama. Or Shay Llama, however you want to pronounce it. Here we are. Oh, now you wear your wedding dress. <laughs> Great. Alright, go and get a table. Be nice. We've got to try and win this guy over. Oh, here we are, side by side. Let's introduce ourselves. Oh, he's quite cute. Ah, Dag, dag. Let's just be as forward as possible with this guy. Nina has learnt that Finn is unemployed. Well, that's a good fucking start, isn't it? I mean, they seem to be getting along a bit quicker than she did with Alexander, so that's good. They're a better match, at least. <laughs> I love the way Sims react to each other. They're so funny. Oh, what are we doing here? We having a little smooch? We having a smooch? Oh, mistletoe kiss. Oh, he has siblings. Ask if he wants kids. Not that it matters. <laughs> we can sell him the false dream, though, can't we? Why are you standing over here, mate? We don't bite. Unless, you know, unless you want us to. Let's just do loads of romantic interactions and see if we can get him to be our boyfriend. Oh, first kiss. He is eating it all up. This guy, head over heels. Bless him, the little mug. Should we hold hands? I mean, oh, wait, what was that? What the fuck was that? Ask to be boyfriend. I think we shall. You want to be our, our boyfriend, buddy? You want to make this exclusive? You're going to regret it, but you've got no idea. The same day our husband died, we've got a new boyfriend. Oh, he is cute, though. I think Anna's going to find this one a tough one to kill. I mean, she'll still do it anyway, but, you know, just making that point. Bless. That's where we can use our passionate romance. Make out. Oh, I missed make out. Do it all. Do it all. The only thing is, with uh, passionate romance, the interactions last a really long time. <laughs> Hot breakfast date. Oh, it's 5am. <laughs> oh, well, it's alright. Is this going up at all anymore? Lovebirds. Are we in a position to propose? I guess not. We don't have a high enough friendship to propose. Okay. Well, we'll just be a, just be nice then. Oh, oh. In the middle of the restaurant. Propose to someone the same day your spouse died. She's going to have loads of, like, wedding ring moodlets. She's thinking about her new marriage. <laughs> uh, why didn't you propose? I wonder if you can propose if you can get married to more than one sim in The Sims 4. Amazingly, I've never tried it. Come on, Nina, get down on one knee. Show him you mean business. Show him that commitment he craves. Get move out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, there we go. Finally, finally it happened. Oh, engaged to be married. Bless. Right, well, it's like 9am, let's go home, and I'm going to end this episode here at that uh, ultimate climax, and uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next episode where we'll have a wedding, maybe even another, who knows, we're going to make our way through this, but yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, if you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.